Hi friends, I've got a special treat for you this morning. So I just got back from a hike through this beautiful little patch of woods near my house. And all along my walk, uh, there was this amazing scent of green earth and flowers and the sunlight was coming through the canopy and it created this green glow. And I just felt this deep sense of peace and belonging and green energy. (laughs) So I was inspired to create this flow to try to convey some of this goodness to you. Before we begin, if you enjoy my classes, then please click the subscribe button and please take a moment to check out my Patreon site. The link is below in the video description. Patreon is a way for you to support me making these classes and honestly, I wouldn't be able to continue this channel if it wasn't for my sweet Patreon family. And becoming a patron gets you access to exclusive events like live streams and full one-hour classes and book club and all kinds of cool things that we're doing in the community. So if you're a member already, thank you so much. And if not, I invite you to check it out. So today is a flow practice, a nice, slow, juicy flow. So if you have any props that help assist you or make your practice more comfortable, you're welcome to use them, but nothing is required. Okay, go ahead and find your way to a nice comfy seat on your mat. Feel grounded and relaxed. And we're going to start our practice with an amazing breath exercise called diaphragm breathing. And why is it amazing? Oh my gosh, because it helps to calm your mind in a really powerful way. It helps to calm the sympathetic nervous system, which is in charge of your fight or flight response. It decreases stress hormones like uh, cortisol. It decreases systemic inflammation and it stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system. It help, which is in charge of your rest and digest state. It releases serotonin and dopamine. It helps you feel clear and calm and spacious. It activates the immune system. Shall I go on? It's just a really great um, way to start our practice and it's easy. So I'm just gonna demonstrate and then we'll do it together, okay? Uh, right hand to the belly, close your eyes. Left hand can go anywhere it feels comfortable. And then breathing in through your nose, you're going to draw breath all the way down into the belly and feel your belly rise. Now, if the belly becomes full, then you can draw breath up into the chest as well. And then as you exhale, feel the belly relax and come back in. So we're just breathing into the belly, feeling the belly rise and then letting the belly relax. We're going to do this nice and slow. So I'll give you a four count as we breathe in and a four count as we breathe out. And the key here is to relax. Don't force your belly out. Don't force anything. Just relax and feel everything easy and effortless. Okay. To begin, hands on the knees, close your eyes. Let's take a few clearing breaths. So big breath in through the nose, lift the shoulders. Open mouth, exhale. Let the shoulders relax. Again, great big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let's come back to a normal breath in and out through your nose. Relax from the crown of your head across your scalp. Relax your brow. Relax the muscles around your eyes and your cheeks. Relax your jaw, soften your tongue. With every exhale, feel any tension, tightness leaving the body, dissolving into the breath. And let's move into our diaphragm breathing. So right hand to the belly. We'll do 10 of these together drawing the breath 
in through the nose, deep into the belly, feeling it rise for a count of four, and exhaling through the nose, feeling the belly relax for a count of four. Let's take a normal breath in through the nose. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale just to clear. And we begin breathing into the belly for one, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose, feel the belly relax. Two, three, four. That's one. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. That's two. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Two, three, four. Exhale, feel the belly relax. Two, three, four. That's three. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Two, three, four. Exhale, feel the belly relax. Two, three, four. Four, that's four. Inhale, feel the belly rise. One, two, three, four. Exhale, feel the belly relax. Two, three, four. Inhale, breath into the belly. Two, three, four. Exhale, relax. Two, three, four. That's six. Inhale. Two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four, that's seven. Inhale to the belly. Two, three, four, and exhale. Feel the belly relax. Two, three, four, that's eight. Inhale, drawing breath into the belly. Three, four, Exhale, relaxing the belly. Two, three, four, nine. Inhale to the belly. One, two, three, four, and exhale to the belly. Two, three, four. Slowly let both hands come to your knees. Just sit, relax, and welcome this place of stillness openness. Breathe it in. Relax all the muscles of your face, your cheeks, your jaw, your shoulders. And let's offer ourselves some words of sweet loving kindness to set the intention for our practice and for our day. So I'll say these words out loud and you just repeat them silently to yourself. Here we go. May I be happy and healthy in my body and mind. May I be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I feel connected to the deeper truth of who I really am. And may I experience this truth as a feeling of unity with all that exists. And now let's expand the circle of loving kindness to include everyone, all beings everywhere. And so we'll say, may we all. And when we say, may we all, feel a sense of kinship and unity with all beings. May we all be happy and healthy in our body and mind. May we all be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May we all feel connected to the deeper truth of who we really are. And may we experience this truth as a feeling of unity with one another and with all things. Let's 
slowly blink your eyes open. All right, sweep your legs around in front of you. Take a little forward fold here, Paschimottanasana. So feet hip distant apart, root the sit bones. As you inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky, great big breath, and as you exhale, a nice slow fold forward. Now we take it nice and slow, and we're working with breath and a little mindful movement here. So with each inhale, lift up through the heart, reach the crown of the head forward, lengthen the spine. Each exhale melts and deepen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. One more time, breath in, long spine. Exhale, melt and find your fullest expression. So we're just warming up here. Don't push it, just relax into it. Inhale, halfway lift. Come up just a little bit. And let's take a little internal rotation of the legs here. So the toes and the knees just ever so slightly turn in. The sit bones spread apart on the mat and then push the sit bones down into the mat and deepen into the fold once again. Just relax. Inhale, slowly rise, working into a little counter stretch here. Alter pose, bend the knees, hands and feet come down, press into the heels and the hands. Lift your hips and let your head fall back. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Lower your sit bones and sweep your legs around behind you. Let's find tabletop wrists under the shoulders, knees under hips. And from here, curl your toes and lift your hips. Push back, downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here. Pedal your feet, bend one knee, draw opposite heel down to the earth, stretch out the back of the legs. And feel free to move your hands and feet around a little bit, wider, narrower, shorter, longer. Dial in your sweet spot for your downward dog. Coming to stillness, wrap the elbows in broaden across the upper back, draw the navel in, lift the tailbone, and push the thigh bones toward the back wall, letting your heels draw down toward the earth. From here, let's move into a couple spinal waves. So as you inhale, wave forward into plank pose, nice and slow, let the wave ripple through the spine, and then dip the knees toward the mat, sink the hips back to the heels, push the mat away, and lift the tailbone, wave it back up. The downward dog. Let's do that with the breath. Here we go. Inhale, wave forward to plank. Exhale, dip the knees, sink the hips to the heels, and wave the tailbone up to downward dog. A couple more times. Inhale, wave forward. Exhale, dip the knees, hips to heels, and wave it up. Downward dog. One more time. Inhale, wave forward, plank. Exhale, dip. Take it back and take it up, downward dog. Nice work, great big breath in, open mouth, exhale. Bring your feet together and take your right foot up to the sky, three leg dog, push through your heel to lengthen through the back of the leg. And as you exhale, draw right knee into the nose, squeeze that knee into the chest, shift forward and step the right foot just to the inside of the right hand. Spin the back heel down and align your front heel with the back arch. Windmill your hands open and rise up into warrior two. And let's settle in into a nice deep warrior two. So we'll build the pose from the ground up, starting with the back foot, roll to the outside edge of that back foot, lifting the inner arch a little. Front foot pointing straight ahead deep bend in this front knee and from the inside of the front thigh extend through the inner knee so that knee is pointing straight ahead relax the shoulders and breathe let's take a moment to feel the breath inside you the earth beneath you the sky above you and you connected to it all as you inhale straighten the front leg 
and then reach your right hand forward, hinging from the hips into a nice, sweet triangle. So the right hand can come to the shin, to the foot, to a block, or to the mat. Left hand to the sky, gaze to that lifted hand. You want a nice long spine here, so lift the crown of your head, reach it forward, stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips. Breathe. As you inhale, bend into that front knee. We raise up into warrior two. Once again, flip the front palm and let's take it up and back, reverse warrior. So the left hand comes alongside that back thigh and reach your right hand up and back. This is a big side body stretch. You wanna feel it all across the right ribs, all the way down to the right hip. As you exhale, come forward back to warrior two and then sweep both hands across the bottom of the mat, extend that right leg long, coming to the heel, and a deep bend in the left knee, as deep as you can. Little bounce, windswept warrior, I like to call this. As we inhale, we're gonna sweep our way back to warrior two, flip it and reverse it, reverse warrior, once again. And as we exhale, we're gonna sweep our way all the way back down to windswept warrior. So warrior two, sweep both hands across the mat, extend the right leg, bend deeply into the left knee, little bounce, and then turn over that left shoulder, low lunge facing the back of the mat. From here, keeping the back heel lifted and back leg straight, straighten your front leg for floating splits, I like to call this fold over that straight front leg. So a great place for blocks for your hands here. Square up the hips so that they're facing forward and just melt over that front leg. Now you can keep all four corners of the left foot on the mat here or you can lift the toes coming to the heel, whatever feels good to you. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine and exhale, fold and melt. Breathe, relax. As you inhale, bend into that front knee, coming back to a low lunge once again, and step your front foot back and up to the sky, three leg dog. Bend the left knee, stacking the hips, so let that left foot feel heavy, like gravity is pulling it toward the earth. And we're gonna move from here into a slow motion wild thing. So slowly let that left foot fall all the way to the floor behind you. As you do, keep the right leg straight, spin to the outside edge of that right foot. When the left foot meets the mat, push into the right hand, lift your hips and sweep your left hand up and over reaching back behind you. Now from here, really push into the right hand, pushing up through the heart. Open the upper back, open the heart. Breathe, oh, it feels so good. As you exhale, roll back over to plank pose. Hold plank for just a moment, wrap the elbows in, and as slow as you can, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes, cobra pose. Slide the hands back, push into the heels of the hands, lift the heart and then push the heart forward, draw the shoulders back, again, opening the upper back. Exhale, lower, and hips to heels. Child's pose, let's take a moment here in child's pose, knees wide, toes together. Just feel the earth beneath you. Feel the sweetness, the coolness of the breath as it enters your nose. So grateful for this moment and to share this practice with you. What a beautiful thing. Inhale, come forward, tabletop, curl the toes and lift your hips, a downward dog. And now here, slowly walk your hands all the way back to the feet. So now you're at the front of your mat, but you're turned around facing backwards. From here, let's take a little forward fold. So halfway lift and exhale, fold. And peace fingers can grab the big toes here or you can grab around behind your heels. And it's okay to bend the knees a little bit here if you need to. Just straighten the knees little by little until you feel 
just the right amount of sensation in the hamstrings. That's all we're going for. Again, let's do the little internal rotation of the legs here so the heels turn outward a little bit, spread your sit bones open and melt a little deeper. Halfway lift, bring your hands to the mat and step your right foot to the middle of the mat here. Step your left foot behind the right foot and then off to the side, the outside of the right foot. So the pinky toe edges of the feet are touching and the left leg is behind the right. From here, let's slowly fold, empty the breath. This is a deeper stretch into the back of the left leg, into the IT band, and this is a really good one if you have sciatic pain as well. It gets that line of the sciatic nerve. Keeping the feet crossed as they are, inhale and slowly rise all the way up. Again, keeping the feet crossed, lift your hands to the sky and lift your heels, push into the balls of the feet. Now, from here, balancing on the balls of our feet, we're going to pirouette, spinning all the way to the left until we face the front of the mat. And we're gonna do it without lifting the feet, okay? <laughs> here we go, on the count of three, one, two, three, pirouette to the left, all the way to face the front. Okay, now stay up on your tippy toes. Keep lifting the heels here. Really engage the calf muscles. If you're falling all over it, you can tippy toe around here, but just feel those calf muscles working, engaged, reached into the sky, big breath. And as you exhale, lower the heels and let's sink into chair pose. That was fun. <laughs> Relax and breathe. <laughs> Just ease yourself into a nice comfy chair here. Relax the shoulders. Nice straight line all the way down the arms, down the back, all the way to the tailbone. So butt isn't sticking out, nor is it tucked in. It's just a nice straight line. As you inhale, slowly rise into one leg mountain pose. So lift that left knee, bring your palms to your heart. From here, right into warrior three, okay? So hinging forward from the hips, extend the left leg behind you, lift the left heel, dip the left hip so the hips are squarely facing the earth, and then long spine here. So lift the heart, reach the crown of your head forward, and from here, reach both hands forward, overhead, palms facing one another. You can do it. Feels like a really heavy beach ball. <laughs> Reach, breathe for three, two, one. Exhale, we float back to low lunge. Hands to the mat, breathe, and step back to plank pose. Slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. And let's take another cobra pose here. Untuck the toes, hands come back, lift the heart. Push your heart forward, oh, open the upper back and lower it down. Hips to heels, child's pose. Take a moment to again, feel, breathe, relax, feel present. And come forward, tabletop, curl your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Let's do that whole little dance on the left side, shall we? <laughs> All right. Feet together, take your left heel up to the sky. And again, push through that left heel. Feel the back of the left leg lengthening, stretching. Exhale, left knee into the nose. Squeeze the knee into the chest. Shift the body forward and step the left foot just to the inside of the left hand. Spin the back heel down. Adjust the front foot so that that front heel and back arch are in alignment. And then windmill open into warrior two. I love that windmill opening into the shape. Just feels good. All right, settling in, feel the earth beneath your feet. Seal the outside edge of that back foot into the mat, lift the inner arch. Nice deep bend in the front knee. And then feel the extension from the inner thigh through the inner knee. So the knee is pointing straight ahead. Big breath in, lift the shoulders up a little bit. 
exhale, relax the shoulders and melt into the shape. Sweet. From here, straighten the front leg and then hinging from the hips, reach the left fingertips forward down into triangle pose. Again, same options for the left hand, to the shin, to the mat, to the block, but the whole idea is you want a long spine. So reach the crown of the head forward, make sure it's not drooping toward the mat. Gaze to your lifted fingers and breathe. As you inhale, slowly rise, coming back up to warrior two, so bend into the front knee. And let's flip it, flip the front palm and reverse it. Right hand alongside the back thigh, left hand, take it up and back, up and back, lift through the heart and feel the stretch along the left side of the body, all the way to the left hip. Exhale, come forward to warrior two and then sweep both hands across the bottom of the mat, extend the left leg long, coming to the heel. Bend into that right knee, a little bounce, a little windswept warrior. Love this shape. Inhale, we sweep our way back through warrior two. Flip it and reverse it once again. And we'll sweep our way from here all the way back down through warrior two to windswept warrior. Nice. Again, a little bounce, a little bounce. And turn over the right shoulder facing the back of the mat. Low lunge. Keeping the back heel lifted, just straighten the front leg and fold forward over the right leg. Floating splits, y'all. Floating Hanumanasana. That's what I call it. Feels like floating splits to me. <laughs> Breathe. Relax. Again, hands on blocks or hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, reach the crown of the head forward, and exhale, melt and fold a little deeper. Breathe into all the places that you feel sensation. As you inhale, halfway lift, bend into the front knee, so we're back to a low lunge, and step your front foot back and up to the sky, three leg dog. Bend the right knee, stack the hips open and feel that right foot getting heavier and heavier like gravity is pulling it down toward the earth. Slow motion, wild thing. Feel like you're moving through molasses or honey here. So very slowly, let that right foot come all the way down to the mat, keeping the left leg straight, roll to the outside edge of the left foot. And when the right foot meets the mat, push into the left hand, reach the right hand to the sky. And then the right hand keeps sweeping all the way until it's reaching back behind you. Now really push into that left hand to lift up through the heart. Open the upper back. One more breath. Exhale, roll to your plank pose. And this time, let's take your choice. Come all the way down to your belly cobra or chaturanga upward dog. I'm gonna do a chaturanga upward dog. So halfway down, roll over the toes, lift the heart, and draw the shoulders back with the knees lifted. Exhale, roll back over the toes and lift the tailbone downward dog. Nice work. Okay, we get another chance at that pirouette if you fell into a ditch last time. <laughs> so here we go, walk the hands back to the feet. And first let's take a nice forward fold here. So halfway lift, exhale, melt and fold. And again, you can piece finger the big toes or wrap around behind the ankles. Little bend in the knees, okay. Just trying to feel a little stretch in the hamstrings here. And now a little internal rotation of the legs. So feel the heels spinning outward a little bit. Feel the sit bones spreading open as you continue to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to the mat. Bring your left foot to the middle of the mat and step your right foot behind and to the outside of the left foot so the pinky toe edges of the feet are touching. 
Breath in. Exhale, fold and feel <laughs> the, the sweet stretch on the right leg. Now, if you're prone to hyperextension here, you can push that right knee forward just a little bit. Breathe into it. Okay, keeping the feet crossed, inhale and rise up. All the way up, take your hands to the sky and keeping the feet crossed, lift your heels, push into the balls of your feet. If you're dancing around here, it's okay, right? Just have fun with it, play. And now we're gonna pirouette, spinning to the right, all the way to face the front of the mat. On a count of three, here we go. One, two, three, spin, spin, spin. Nice, keep the heels lifted, engage, <laughs> engage the calves, breathe, feel playful, alive, curious about the possibilities for today. Big breath, reach up. Exhale, lower the heels and let's sink into chair pose. Nice job, all right. I was dancing around a little bit there. Felt good. <laughs> Relax into it. Soften your face, your jaw, your shoulders. Shift the weight back into the heels just a little bit here. Feel a little warmth building in the thighs. It's a good thing. Inhale, rise up, lift the right knee, one leg, mountain pose, palms to the heart. And from here, we hinge forward from the hips into warrior three. Here we go. Extend that right leg back behind you. Lift the right heel, dip the right hip. Long spine, so feel the crown of the head reaching forward. And now take your hands and reach them forward. If you fall over, it's okay. This is an opportunity to play and to have fun and to explore, not to beat yourself up. One more breath, exhale, we float back to low lunge. All right, nice job. Step the left foot back, plank pose. And again, your choice, you can come to your belly, to cobra, back to child's pose, or follow me, chaturanga. Lowering halfway, keep the elbows close to the sides, roll over the toes, lift the heart, and draw the shoulders back. Mm, exhale, roll over the toes, lift the tailbone, and push back, downward dog. Great big breath in, open mouth, exhale. Let's come to your knees and find child's pose. Beautiful work. Oh, my sweet friends. So good to start the day with a little self-love, right? That's what this practice is all about. Self-love, self-discovery. And with that comes self-confidence, the clarity, and a sense of space. Everything becomes more spacious. Sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around in front. Let's take a nice big wide leg seat here for Upavishta Konasana, our wide leg seated forward fold. Root the sit bones, knees and toes are pointing up to the sky. Inhale, reach up and exhale, fold nice and slow, just like we did in the beginning. With every inhale, we lengthen, and every exhale, we melt. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, melt. And one more time, big breath, lift the heart, crown of the head, reaching forward, and exhale, melt, and find your fullest expression. As you inhale, slowly rise up. Bring your feet together and come all the way to your back. Hug both knees into your chest. 
a little rock side to side here. And then keeping the right knee into the chest, extend the left leg long and bring the right foot down to the mat. Knee stays bent. We'll work into a little supine twist here. So scoot your butt a little to the right. Let that left or right knee fall across the body to the left. Left hand can come on top of the right thigh and you can place a block or blanket under that right knee for support. The right hand can reach out to the side here, or you can bend the left knee, grab the left foot. And let's take one more little shift here. Lift the left shoulder, scoot it a little bit to the left and let both shoulders melt into the mat squarely. Close your eyes and breathe. Exhale, release the foot if you have it. Roll to your back. Take your hands overhead, reach and stretch. Wiggle your fingers, breathe. Exhale, melt and feel your whole body just melt into the earth for a couple breaths here. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. Keep the right leg long, draw the left knee into your chest. Let the left foot come down and scoot your butt a little to the left. Knee falls across the body to the right. Same options here. You can place a pillow under the knee, right hand on top, and left hand out to the side or grab that right foot. Again, lift up the right shoulder here. Scoot it a little to the right. Let both shoulders melt and close your eyes. Exhale, release the foot if you have it. Roll to your back and let yourself melt into a sweet shavasana.
bring some movement to your fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. As you inhale, take your hands overhead and stretch. Wiggle your fingers and toes and feel this day welcoming you to live your best life. Exhale, knees into chest and roll to your right side. Gently push yourself up to a seat, top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart and close your eyes. Let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another in light and in love. Namaste. <laughs> I hope that you felt a little bit of the sweetness and the peace and that green photosynthesized energy uh, that I felt on my forest walk today. Love you so much. If you have a chance today, get outside, be in nature, breathe it in, be amongst the trees, even if it's for 10 minutes, and see if you don't feel transformed as well. Love you. Namaste.